What's up, everybody? Welcome to Ice House from their DCO commentary. Uh, today, I'm bringing you this commentary to uh, show you guys my electricity healing loadout for PVE. Um, in this video here, you're going to be seeing what um, has been brought to me, uh, shown to me by some friends, and things I figured out myself on what to do as far as electricity healing goes. So let's go ahead and first we'll take a look at the uh, loadout here for electricity. What I use here, um, I have Galvanize, which um, is a really good group burst heal. Bioelectric Surge, single heal. Biocapacitor, Electrogenesis, Arc Lightning, and uh, Invigorate. Now, there's some things about Arc Lightning. Not many people like it. I like it. I get a lot of really big heals when I use Arc Lightning. Uh, I use it mostly whenever I'm, I cast it on whatever the tank is um, on, whatever they're pulling aggro from first. Um, and I get some really, really big heals that a lot of people like uh, to use Ionic Drain. Um, ionic Drain is another good healing power. It um, drains energy from the environment to replenish yours and up to seven group members' health. Uh, it also damages and stuns the target. Um, I like Ionic Drain. Uh, but the thing is, it is a uh, vulnerable to interrupt. So it's one of those long cast times, and you know you can, you can get knocked out of it. And for a lot of the, especially some of the, you know, some of the boss fights and end game, um, higher higher tiered um, raid bosses, and even even with a lot of the ads too, uh, that can be a detriment to you getting knocked out of that. Um, any interruptible power. Uh, I tend to try and leave any interruptible powers that I use to DPSing um, for a heal. Uh, like I said, it's personal taste. Um, it's uh, you got to pick your moments when you cast it. Uh, Arc Lightning does a very good job of um, healing um, a group of people, uh, the same as Ionic Drain does. It just Arc Lightning doesn't heal everybody in the in the raid group. So. That's why I don't use Ionic Drain. Uh, is it a is Ionic Drain still a good power? Absolutely. I you know recommend you at least test it out and try it out. Um, I just like to have the reality a little bit. I just tend to rely more on instant casts um, than I do any long cast or interruptible powers. Except of course when I'm fire DPSing, which obviously fire DPS has nothing but long cast powers for a lot of their good um, hard hitting powers. Uh, but talking about the other powers here, um, Galvanize you will find in the Amperage Tree. It's um, the bottom right power you'll find there. It's uh, one of the last tier of powers. It you know, requires uh, level 16 to have. Uh, it creates a wave to heal yourself and allies within range, growing in strength with every, every ally healed. So the more allies that you have to heal up, um, the, greater, the bigger the heals are going to be. This also does a healing over time, so it's a big burst heal and a heal over time. Uh, it's something that, you know, you tend to want to try. I mean, not that, you know, I encourage you to do this, but it works better. The more people you have to heal, the better it works, basically. <laughs> I don't encourage you waiting until everybody's heal or health is getting low, though, before you uh, test, before you use it. You definitely want to try and uh, get it, you know, keep everybody's health up as, as high as possible the entire time you're on in a raid. Uh, the other um, healing power that um, you'll see there is the uh, you'll find in the voltage tree is bioelectric surge. This heals yourself and one other person. This is a good like okay, you got one person there. Usually it's the tank who uh, needs a big heal, so you will uh, bane him with that heal right there, and uh, plus it gives yourself a nice heal. Uh, the other one, Electrogenesis, or you'll, well, yeah, Electrogenesis, you'll also find the Voltage Tree. This Electrogenesis kind of works a lot of similar to Circle of Pro um, Protection, or Circle of Destiny, they call it now. Uh, you always want to try and keep that up at all times. Um, it's a nice little heal over time, keeps everybody, you know, to help keep everybody's health up. The other power you'll find is uh, Biocapacitor. Biocapacitor, um, it works only on four people yourself and three other group members. However, um, this is one of those um, heal and forget powers uh, that they talked about when they were first introducing electricity. It will have, um, it'll heal everybody up, 
but it'll also be there in case anybody's health goes below 35% in under two minutes of when you cast it. So you only really need to cast it every two minutes uh, to um, get the full benefits out of it. But, you know, I tend to sometimes cast it whenever, you know, say like, you know, I don't have enough power for Galvanize. Um, I will use Biocapacitor. Uh, and of course, you know, you go back to going back to, um, you know, uh, Arc Lightning that um, I use for, um, I will cast that on uh, whatever the tank's aggroing, you know, whatever they're up there um, fighting themselves personally, and uh, use that to um, keep the, uh, help keep the uh, tank's health up. Plus any uh, melee DPSers are out, that are out there, or, uh, you know, um, you got your uh, Green Lantern, um, or your hard light controllers that I have to get up close and all that to get their debuffs and power over time and stuff on the um, ads and bosses and everything. And of course, supercharge you definitely want to use whenever you're healing is Invigorate. Invigorate is a 50% supercharge. Uh, works similar to uh, Transcendence for sorcery, um, uh, except for the fact that there isn't a long cast time for it. I mean, there is a cast animation, but it's not a long cast time, and you're not completely immobile all the whole time. Uh, getting into some of the things that I like about electricity healing, um, granted, now, I haven't really done any sorcery or nature healing, but from what um, my experience with electricity healing, uh, I really, really like electricity healing. It's a hell of a lot of fun. It's very easy. Um, it, it can tend to be a bit power hungry, but the uh, benefits of like you know biocapacitor and everything, um, not to mention the um, invigorated cells on its own, uh, also gives power out to the entire group and yourself too. So uh, the, ten the the power whole uh, electricity being power hungry thing tends to kind of uh, cancel each other itself out with some of the spell um, powers that are beneficial towards it. Uh, another thing I really like about electricity healing is the fact that. You know, you don't have to sit through any of those cast times or those cast animations. Almost every single power is cancelable. Um, it's cancel. No, I'm sorry, the cast <laughs> cast animation is cancel cancelable with another power animation or with another power usage. So you'll see it's like I'll cast like Art Lightning and immediately go into Electrodensis um, sometimes whenever um we start off a fight right at the beginning. So because, you know, I can cancel it out. Also, you can cancel out your trinket, you know, healing trinkets. I recommend it. You know, every time your healing trinket is available, use it. You know, so you'll see right here, like there, bam. And I saw that healing, you know, trinket came came available again. Bam, I used it, and I instantly casted, uh, cast Electrogenesis. Uh, the trinket, you know, obviously, you know, increases your restoration. And the higher the restoration you have, the higher, better your heals are. So that's something you definitely want to uh, keep an eye on. Another uh, thing you always want to keep an eye on, of course, you know, the biggest thing you want to keep an eye on is everybody's health bar on the left side there. You know, everybody's health bar. Making sure that, you know, trying, you know, make sure, definitely make sure that nobody's health goes below half. Uh, especially if it's a fire tank. If it's a fire, you know, if it's a fire tank that goes below half, you know, <laughs> he, you know he's taking a lot of damage. Because a lot of fire, you know, fire tanks get their health up really high. But any tank whatsoever, any member of your group, you want to make sure you keep their health up as high as possible. Uh, another thing you want to do as a healer, you want to try and stay out of the middle of the action, obviously. Um, healers' um, gear, the defense is not that high. And so, in that fa so with that in mind, you know, healers are basically kind of very squishy. And uh, so you definitely don't want to try and go in there and tank. You know, or go in there and try and slug it out next to the DPS or the tanks themselves, because you know you will get blasted, as you'll see here shortly, um, where I kind of make a mistake here in a little bit. Uh, so stay back, stay out of the action as much as possible. Keep everybody's concentrate on healing. Don't concentrate so much on, you know, your weapons. You know, using your weapon as much, um, because. You know, and, and at times, and all, you may want to sit back. Like you'll see me sometimes. I'll sit back here, and I will uh, use Arrow Storm to try and uh, build up my hit count and get my power back a little bit. That's because you know, because maybe the controller may be, uh, you know, and that's fine to do. Maybe the controller is having a hard time keeping power out to the um, rest of the group, or your controller's vit may not be very high. Um, you'll see here, and so you know, when the controllers we had, you know, I'm getting takes of uh, 132. So the controller's vit was not extremely high. Uh, in this group. That being said, though, um, 
trailers in this raid, you know, I mean, this is a puck group, obviously. Uh, they did a pretty good job. Um, there were a couple moments there where I was like, um, you know, trying to, you know, I was waiting for them to, you know, hit their uh, defib or recharge or um, sign empowerment to um, get me some uh, power back so I could hit, keep everybody healed up. But, you know, if it comes down to that, you know, you know, there's always, you know, a soda or, of course, you know, if you're doing it right, you know, you're going to use Invigorate or a similar tail. supercharge. Right here, as you'll see where I made this mistake, I got too close. You know, the boss freaking, you know, put me in ice block and I got one shot by him because of it. So, fortunately, they were able to get me picked up and um, get me back into the fight, though. So, that's basically um, the in and outs of, you know, how I heal. Obviously, there's going to be other schools of thought. Uh, I highly encourage anybody who's got any other tips, so many people who uh, main electricity especially, um, if you got any tips for healing, please, by all means, leave comments in the description below. Uh, or leave leave comments below. Um, I, I highly encourage any kind of dialogue on my videos, you know, when, when it comes to, you know, me getting into other powers outside of, like, you know, fire, uh, especially. Um, because, you know, I am not an expert on any of these powers in the game. Um, I tend to kind of think I am an expert on fire, but, you know, that's only because I've been playing it for so doggone long. Uh, electricity is obviously one of the newer powers, but it has been out for a while. There are people out there who know the in and outs of electricity a lot better than I do. Um, and uh, are very, very good um, electricity players. So I highly encourage any kind of uh, dialogue from you guys. Um, and I know my, everybody else watching these videos, you know, trying to learn things and all that, they'll appreciate it too. And they'll be able to see the, um, those uh, words of wisdom from you uh, professionals in the description <laughs> or in the comments below. Uh, but we're, you know, we're getting up here on the last boss and everything. Um, you know, this, you know, this last boss here was actually pretty easy. Uh, this is actually a pretty decent group we had going here. Um, but yeah, I mean, like I said, I really enjoy electricity healing. Maybe, uh, hopefully I'll be able to get this character CR up high enough and I'll be able to get in like gates and eventually maybe one day prime and get a, you know, healing video out there for you guys with her. Um, in those raids, uh, chances are though, I may be actually be, uh, showing you, uh, video of Super Patriot doing some electricity healing, um, or at least DPSing in those raids in the future. Um, yes, I'm going to be switching, um, Super Patriot to electricity just for a temporary, um, period though. I just want to go in and get the extra, you know, feats and stuff like that, you know, involved with, um, the styles, uh, mainly for uh, healer gear. Um, I've actually been saving up some as it is right now. Uh, but yeah, it's only a temporary thing. I've got loyalty points saved up for two power um, respect tokens right now. So as soon as I get those styles done, I'll be switching back to fire because fire is what I love to do um, on Super Patriot. And uh, I will stay fire for life, at least until I get you know those styles done. <laughs> but yeah, um, that's basically, like I said, you know, Ionic Drain, still a very useful power. You know, I'm, you know, I'm not, you know, trying to talk down about it or anything like that. I recommend nobody uses it at all. It's a very good power to use. Um, it's just not one that fits towards my personal taste. And that's what a lot of this has to go towards, you know, towards when you look at any power, really, is, you know, a person's own personal taste, you know, and how they play the game. So that about wraps it up for this video here. Um, if you, you know, got any uh, suggestions or questions on it, please leave them in the comments below. Uh, obviously suggestions from all you expert um, electricity players out there. I highly encourage them and look forward to hearing any suggestions you guys may have for myself and for other players. Uh, if you liked the video, please do so by giving it a thumbs up. And if you guys haven't done so already, please subscribe. I really appreciate it. Until next time, you all take care. Bye.